When we first opened, we were shooting family commercials. You know, we're family friendly, come see us, we're gonna take care of you. It was about six months into business uh, of shooting. They came in one day, the, the company that I was using at the time, and said, you know, what are we shooting? I said, I don't know what I'm shooting today. I said, but I want to be on the roof. And it was, it was a July commercial. Long story short, I had to go through a party store to get up on the roof. I go through the party store, I see an Uncle Sam outfit, but still go to the roof, do the commercial. And that Uncle Sam outfit haunted me all night long. And that's my true personality, to be funny, be different. I called the next morning, I was like, hey, I want to reshoot, but I want to be Uncle Sam. And they were like, but it was perfect, you know, it was, everything was perfect. I was like, I don't care, I want to be Uncle Sam. So I dressed up as Uncle Sam, got on the roof. We are blessed to live in this wonderful free country, and in honor of all of this freedom, Trent Betting is here to give you more for free. It's been a snowball ever since. Uh, <laughs> I've been everything from Elvis to Fred Flintstone to Austin Powers. I mean, e everything. Been on national TV on World's Dumbest. We made number six out of 20 world's worst stage performers or whatever whatever that spot was called. We almost had a reality show because of our commercials. I mean, it's, it's, it's been a wild ride in 14 years, that's for sure. Little Trent has been a whirlwind of three years, believe it or not. I think I think it was Steve. It was like you know, if you're gonna get a puppet, it's got to be a, a miniature you. Ed Ith, he actually designed Little Trent, and Ed's worked on on Hollywood sets with Spielberg and and those guys. He actually drew him, and James Kemp, he lives here locally. He's built nationally used puppets. Uh, just the quality and, and craftsmanship's amazing. So James builds him. Now everyone wants to talk and make appointments with little Trent. David has, has brought him to life, David Jose, thank you, I, as the puppeteering voice of little Trent. And, and it's crazy when, when we're on set doing commercials. I don't see David when I'm talking. It's little Trent I'm talking to. And it's just wild how he can bring him to life the way he does. And it's, he's, he's his own manifestation of a superstar. <laughs> At least he thinks so. <laughs>